There are way too many note-taking apps to choose from in the Play Store. Some of them are decent, but not really outstanding. In the first version of this video, we tested 17 note-taking apps in depth and listed them one by one. But then we decided to go even deeper and cut out the ones that were good, but not quite perfect yet. So in this version of the video, we are only showing you the absolute best note-taking apps for Android for everyone. Out of those 17 apps we tested, only four made the final cut that we can fully and confidently recommend. Especially number two and number four are really good and in our opinion, great for pretty much everyone. But for some people, numbers one and three might be even better, although not for everybody. Let's start with Samsung Notes. If you own a Samsung tablet or smartphone, you probably already know it. We think it's the best note-taking app for Samsung users. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on devices from other brands. Samsung Notes is awesome for handwriting. You can highlight handwritten notes, erase them, and move a line or even convert it into computer text. The app is packed with features and really well made. You get a solid folder structure with as many subfolders as you need to keep your notes organized. You can also import PDFs, annotate them, and save them. That's great for quickly working on scripts, worksheets, or contracts. Samsung's AI can automatically summarize PDFs or turn your drawings into cartoons, 3D graphics, or even into illustrations. Even if you don't use AI, there are plenty of tools built in for drawing. If you use Samsung Cloud, all your notes sync automatically across all your Samsung devices. You can also connect the app to your Microsoft account and sync your notes with OneNote. Here's how easy it is to fill out timetables and organize your school, university, or work schedules with Samsung Notes. First, we create a new note in Samsung Notes and call it Timetable. Well, we are from Germany where it's called Stundenplan, but that means timetable. Then we pick a timetable template and add it to the note. Next, we tap the fields and fill in our subjects, rooms, and the times with the S Pen. If we make a mistake, we can just erase them with the eraser tool or hit undo. To keep things clear and organized, you can highlight important subjects or appointments in different colors using the digital highlighter or selecting various pens from the color menu. The digital timetable works just like a paper one. You can add small notes on the sides anywhere where you want and they will stay right there for quick access later. Since we've got Samsung Cloud enabled, our updated timetable syncs across all our Samsung devices, so we can check it anytime on our phone or tablet. You can also create diaries, calendars, to-do lists, and all kinds of tables or graphics. There are loads of templates for your notebooks, plus you can add audio recordings, scans, and photos. Samsung Notes is packed with features and is definitely worth exploring everything once. Just go through all the menus and settings and see what you can use. You can have separate notebooks for every lecture, your diary, meetings, or like in today's example, your timetables. Next up is OneNote. OneNote is awesome if you're a fan of the Microsoft ecosystem or use Office a lot and want to sync your notes across your PC and mobile devices seamlessly. You can easily add files from Office apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint into OneNote and edit them directly. Super handy if you already use these apps for work or school. Handwriting works well in OneNote, though it doesn't have as many handwriting features as Samsung Notes does. You can also add audio recordings and PDFs to your notes and keep things organized with sections, pages, and tags. Plus, OneNote is completely free. Here's how to efficiently take notes on lecture slides or presentations with OneNote. First, we create a new section called Example Module in our existing OneNote Notebook third semester. Then we add a new page title, Lecture Slides, so we can easily find our notes later. Again, we are German, so all the handwriting is done in German in case you wonder what's going on. Next, we drag our PDF slides or PowerPoint file into OneNote and import them as printouts, which lets us write directly on the slides. We use the Draw mode to highlight important points with the highlighter or underline them with a pen. You can also write key points next to the slides and they stay anchored there. To keep track of important stuff, we add tags like important, which makes it easier to search for key information later. Since our notebook is saved in OneDrive, we can access our notes on any device. OneNote is perfect for anyone who works with Microsoft Office and needs to take detailed notes that sync across platforms. It works on Windows, macOS, Android, iPadOS, and iOS. 
But if you're not a Microsoft fan, don't use Samsung devices and care a lot about handwriting, check out the next two apps. Nebo is known for its excellent handwriting to text recognition. You can also write formulas or equations by hand and Nebo will convert them into digital text or even solve them for you. It automatically breaks down your handwritten notes into neat paragraphs and lists them when converting to text. You can export your notes as PNG, PDF and other formats so they are safe even if you switch apps. For a one-time fee, you can unlock extra AI features and think through cloud services like Google Drive or Dropbox. Without the full version, you can only create up to five notes. Here's how Nebo works for labeling and explaining math and science notes. We create a new notebook in Nebo called Math. Let's see how well Nebo recognizes the handwritten equation like x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Nebo converts our handwriting into properly formatted text. With Nebo's AI, equations like this can be explained and solved. Finally, we export everything as a PDF to share with our study group or with colleagues. Nebo is perfect if you want your handwritten notes converted into typed text, especially for students and professionals who deal with math and equations. Notechave 3 is a great option if you don't have a Samsung tablet and want to focus on handwritten notes. There are tons of templates to choose from, lined or grid paper, calendar layouts or colorful designs. You can add audio recordings while taking notes so you can listen back later and know exactly what you were thinking. Notechave 3 has a Zoombox feature similar to GoodNotes on the iPad which lets you write large letters in a small box that fit neatly into your page. You can also import and annotate PDFs. The built-in AI can summarize text, generate content or translate it for you. With presentation mode, you can display your notes on a screen and annotate them live with a laser pointer tool. The free version of Notechave 3 is great to start with, but for about 10 bucks you unlock even more features. However, the free version limits how many notes you can create. Here's how to create quick multimedia notes with Notechave 3. We create a new notebook, pick a simple modern template for brainstorming and add stickers or images from the gallery or even directly from the web. We record a short voice memo to capture our initial ideas so we can listen to them later. Using the zoom box, we sketch a rough outline which is automatically resized to fit the page. This becomes a storyboard we can refine later. We switch to presentation mode to show our ideas on a projector or monitor without any distracting menus. Notechave 3 is great for those who want more creative options like keeping a diary or making multimedia notes. So those are the four best note taking apps for Android. We tested them mostly on tablets but they work on smartphones too. As you saw, we love using a stylus like the S Pen for handwritten notes. We've tested almost every tablet with a stylus and our top Android picks are the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra and the Lenovo Yoga Tab Plus. You can find our reviews on this channel.